All right, my headlights. I got a comment on one of my last videos asking me for a rundown of my headlights. So I just want to do a quick overview of that. And um, I'm going to start off by saying that all I did was modify the stock housing headlights. I did not buy a new set. I just took mine and started playing with them. I've probably had them open three times already. They are getting to a point where I've kind of messed with them a little too much and the lenses are kind of fogged up and really I should be looking into getting a new set um, pretty soon. But for now, I'm still rolling with them. The first thing I tried in the reflective headlights were a set of LED bulbs in the reflective housings. I know that's kind of frowned upon, but I had to see for myself because the, the um, halogen bulbs actually presented a pretty good cutoff for being in a reflective housing. So I want to see what the LEDs would do. Well, uh, it just scattered light and I was left with the same thing, except for, you know, it was a cleaner white. So that's when I opted to go with an HID retrofit. I had never done one before, but I really want to try it out. So what I did was I had previously bought my HID kit for my Mazda 3 from the retrofit source. I know they make good stuff, so I went with them. I used um, a mini H1 kit from Acme. Uh, that's the brand on there. I'll leave a link below for that. And um, it has minimal modification when it comes to actually fitting in the retrofit. You have to take off the shield. Once you remove that, it creates an opening that has a very specific pattern to it. And the retrofit has that same pattern. So all you do is you, um, you slide in your projector housing. There's a large nut and a washer that goes on the back all you do is tighten that down i did that for both housings while i was in there what i did was there's a chrome shroud that pops out not the actual projector bucket itself i did leave that chrome but the piece that came out the little shroud area i painted that black so just to kind of give it a darker look in there and a lot of people at first glance think that i have tinted headlights but it's not the case, it's just that the, the housings are black. So I did that. The shroud for the actual projector itself came black. I ordered it in black, so it kind of just fit together. And the turn signal in there, I left alone for the most part. I did wrap it in black just so that the front, you know, is prominent in the amber color, but you know, nothing crazy. I just threw some black vinyl on it. That was the first mod. I did do this back in 2019, so I wasn't really into recording everything, but I did get some stuff. After I did the projector retrofit, I ran HIDs for a while. And if you ran HIDs before, you probably know that sometimes there are issues with your ballast firing, whether that be that it's just not properly grounded or, you know, wiring issue or luck. I don't know. I've had two kits from the retrofit source. Both had issues with turning on, but it was so infrequent that, you know, usually it was like, turn it back off, turn it back on, and it fires. The second kit I got, I did get the Acme kit for the ballast also. That one had a little bit more problems. I'd probably stick with the actual um, Morimoto from Retrofit Source when it comes to your ballast and, um, and bulbs. But yeah, after a while I kind of got tired of dealing with that and um, I swapped to LEDs. The problem with H1 LED bulbs. They are a little bigger than the actual HID bulb themselves. So one modification I did have to do was I took some fine files, really thin, and just kind of filed away at the inner barrel of where the bulb goes in um, because it's just slightly too big. And I ended up having to buy a couple of different bulbs to find the thinnest one that I could, um, which was like almost top tier Hikari. LED bulbs. I'll leave a link down for those in the description too. Those ones fit after I did a little bit of filing. The ones I had, the lower tier ones that I had were a little thicker and they just wouldn't quite go in. I didn't, I didn't want to keep filing. So I just went with the, a higher tier set and those have been doing pretty well for me. They're not as bright as the HIDs, but they are um, a big improvement over stock. Fast forward to, I don't know, a couple years later and I wanted to do halos but everyone had halos already. Halos have come and gone. They've been around for a long time, um, but daytime running lights were starting to come up in like all kinds of different shapes. All the new cars had different shapes, very distinguished patterns. Um, the Mazda 3 that I bought didn't have them. They just had a regular daytime running light, like the high beam 
was would be on, which I mean, I guess that's fine. The year after mine came out with a design that kind of looked like this, actually. It had a strike through the projector. And I really liked that design and no other cars were using that at the time. So um, yeah, I opted out of, instead of going for a regular halo or like the X's or uh, hexagons. Hexagons was, was, was and is a uh, big one. At the time I had got my first 3D printer well, my only 3D printer, and um, I took a stab at designing some shapes. And this is what I came up with. There was a time where the LED neon signs were just becoming popular, and I found this stuff on Amazon. They're 12 volt LEDs, and when they light up, they look kind of like neon. And I had, I had some of this lying around, and I figured, well, instead of building out like a housing and covering it in plexi, um, with LEDs inside to kind of make the shape, why don't I use this stuff? And that's where this came into play. So I designed this to fit this into it. So the channel fits the LED strip in it and it lights up like neon. So I just, it's a spare piece, um, so it's a little short, but yeah, just did that. I actually just drilled some holes on the back because at the time I didn't really I was very new to designing stuff and I didn't think to put a hole in the back, so I just drilled it out, that's fine. Um, ran some wire from here and had it set to a uh, uh, accessory power, which I think was, I had some, I had my lip lights already installed and that was running off accessory power, so I just kind of piggybacked off of those. It's, you know, LEDs are not very much voltage. And um, all I did was with this was I took some double-sided tape, put it on the bottom. Some uh, it's the 3M mold molding tape, so it's like pretty pretty strong. It's held my um, trunk spoiler on for years, so I figured um, it could probably hold this up. So yeah, that's all I did was ran some on the bottom, stuck it right down on the chrome piece after I cleaned it with alcohol. I positioned it in a way where the wires were coming right out the back and would go off to the side. And I just drilled a small hole and ran them uh, through the chrome piece. And then, yeah, just uh, drilled through the back of the, the headlight housing, ran the wires to my 12 volt accessory power. And now every time the car's on, they're on. And that's, that's what I wanted. I didn't have them on a switch. It's just always on as soon as the car's on. And they've been running for couple years now actually I'm, I'm really surprised I initially wanted to offer these for sale and but I wasn't sure about the lifespan of the LEDs so I didn't want to like put out something that was gonna burn out I am running a reducer on it so it's not running at 14 volts um, with power on it's running at 12 but I have a feeling that they would still run at 14 I just haven't tested that yeah that's basically it for my headlights um, they're very simple kind of plain really uh they're just a little different than everybody else's stuff this is part one in this series of lighting i do have a part two which is going to be a lot a lot more in depth because i'm going to be taking apart my taillights and redoing them so this was just an overview i don't plan on changing my headlights anytime soon unless i get another set because we'll see i have some ideas um but I'm in no hurry for that. Taillights on the other hand, uh, they're not bright enough and you'll see why in the next video. But that was my headlight overview. If you like this kind of content, let me know down below. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll try to answer as best as possible. If you're not following me on Instagram, do so. I reply quicker on there. It's uh, still underscore slow underscore Milo. I'll leave links for all the stuff that I used. Um, if it's on Amazon, it's an affiliate link uh, that helps me out. If it's on the retrofit source, yeah, I'll leave a link for that too.